Does God have something against people who are physically disabled? You might have asked that question if you're doing Bible in one year with me, because in Leviticus 21, one of the chapters that we read today, you have certain physical ailments, blemishes, handicaps, problems that prevent a priest, not from being a priest, but from being a priest who served the altar of God. Things like being blind or lame or mutilated in some way. Now, I think great clarity is brought to this question if you keep reading. Go to Leviticus 22 and you'll see that almost the same list of physical blemishes and problems, if they're in an animal, would prevent that animal from being offered as a sacrifice. So correlate those two. And the bodies of the priest, like the bodies of the sacrifices, had to be unblemished because the bodies of the priest were kind of like an offering to God. You see, these physical ailments and problems are illustrative of what happens to our bodies when we live in a fallen world. And at the same time, in narratives like Leviticus 21 and 22, you have embedded a promise of what is going to come in Jesus the Messiah, our great high priest, because this unblemished priest, this unblemished sacrifice, he brings us into his humanity and so makes us new, restores us to the Father and promises that on the day of resurrection, he will remove all blemishes from our resurrected bodies and make them glorious like his own.